Ramsey. I'm a business intelligence consultant. In this video, I'm going to discuss about a data quality transformation called fuzzy match in talent. For the viewers of this video, I would like to recommend my previous videos as a first choice because in those videos I have clearly explained how to create a job, how to create a database connection and how to retrieve schema from a database connection. So this is a pre-built job in order to save time for the explanation. Thank you so much for understanding. So in this job, I simply dragged and dropped customer details from the source table and I dropped one more table called customer dictionary from the source again. The basic difference between customer details and the customer dictionary tables in this area is customer details contains data inserted by a data entry operator whereas customer dictionary is a pre-built table containing data from an authorized external vendor or from an authorized external source which contain all meaningful data with exact naming conventions so obviously in this example we are going to compare the names from customer details with the names from customer dictionary so th the data which is inserted by a data entry operator might be correct or might not be correct so for that reason here the incoming data from this channel is examined with the data in this table and the perfect match is derived by this fuzzy match transformation and it is sent to the target so in this video i'm going to show you how that is being done so after dragging customer details i have connected this to the fuzzy match transformation we can find fuzzy match transformation under data quality folder so and then i connected customer dictionary to the fuzzy match automatically the first one will be the main table and the second one will be the lookup table so if i click on fuzzy match here the first important option is matching type the option which i am using here is levenstein and the other options are metaphor so levenstein operates on distance between the incoming word and the word in the dictionary i'll be explaining what is meant by the distance metaphone will work with the pronunciation of the incoming word and compare the pronunciation with the dictionary existent word so out of both i've found levenstein as more appropriate to use so here case sensitiveness so if you if you check this box it will examine even the uppercase and lowercase characters of a word and look up so the incoming the incoming column say customer name will be looked up with name underscore dictionary column in the lookup table minimum and maximum distance here is hard coded at zero since the minimum number of changes allowed to match the reference so here it is set to zero so only perfect matches are returned maximum distance is set as three so the maximum number is allowed to match the reference will be three as an insertion to the target table so here I'll, I'll provide you an example here to the backend database if you look at here this is my customer details table where I have customer name and email address don't worry there are a lot of uh, discrepancies in my email address this example will be shown like how to correct this dynamically will be shown in the, my next video in this I'm focusing on customer name so if you, if you look at customer name, the first name is Vamsi and second second name is Moha. So, but in the dictionary, it is Mohan. So the difference between Moha and Mohan 
is a single character so this comparison will obviously will be between 0 and 3 because the insertion is 1 in the same way the next comparison will be between Rajesh and Rajesh and here the insertion is 1 and here calling word will be compared with calling word in the name dictionary and the difference is 2 so all that is falling under 0 and 3 and will be considered as an output records to the target table and here we can we are going to provide the matching column from the main table so column from the dictionary and here we have mentioned the column from the main table these two are comparison columns from this and this table okay unique matching by default fuzzy match will look up multiple matches okay. for example i will run this job which will give us better understanding in this regard so if you look at here so one three three so mohan needs one character to be added to moha to become mohan moha needs three characters insertion or replacement to become hema in the same way moha needs three characters insertion or replacement to become dory so if you look at here if i replace m with d h with r a with i this will become dory and this method is little bit confusing because the maximum possibility is we will end up fetching all the records most of the records from the dictionary as references so for that reason this unique matching is introduced so if you check on unique matching automatically fuzzy match will fetch the nearest match with the incoming word and it will be pushed to the target so if i check this box and save and run okay here is the output so vamsi has a perfect match in the dictionary table with the name by the name vamsi expand the window so that it will be more visible moha has perfect match with the name mohan with one value as insertion and rajesh in customer name has perfect match in the dictionary table with necessary insertion of one say like in this rajesh we need to insert a to make it rajesh so that's what this value meant by so in calling word we need to insert two words that is l and o to make it calling word so this looks more meaningful now and if you have trust and if you test it so i'm not saying again this is not human intelligence this is talent intelligence or a fuzzy match intelligence or some data quality in intelligence so obviously there will be errors or mistakes that will be thrown up so i would recommend users to test it well on your data before implementing this at your production level it may severely affect your customer information or any other information so fuzzy match is there with different technologies like sql server informatica and other recognized tools but still our intelligence is more than tool intelligence thanks for watching this video i hope you liked it and if you have any questions please write to me at 1c27 at the rate of gmail.com